Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Spring Boot series. In this video, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project, adding a scheduled process. Let's get started. I have opened the sample Spring Boot application in the Spring Tool Suite. Open the application class. This is the main configuration class for the application. Add the Enable Scheduling Annotation to the application class. This instructs Spring to search the code base for methods annotated with scheduling metadata. Next, we need to define a Bean class to implement a few sample scheduled behaviors. First, let's create a new package named org.example.ws.batch. Within that package, create a new class named Greeting Batch Bean. The bean is annotated with component so that Spring's component scanner registers the class during application initialization. Let's create a logger so that we can see when our job runs. The first type of scheduled process illustrated is a cron process. Much like a Linux cron scheduler, Spring's cron schedule notation allows you to indicate the seconds, minutes, hour of the day, day of the month, and the day of the week. In our case, we want to quickly test the scheduler. So we're defining a schedule, a schedule that will run at the 0 and 30 second mark of every minute of every hour of every day. Within the method body, we query the database for all greetings and log the size of the returned collection. This is simply to illustrate the injection of dependencies and the invocation of business logic within a scheduled process. Annotate the method with scheduled. Supply the cron element and configure the job to run at 0 and 30 second mark of every minute of every hour of every day. Let's run the application and see our cron job in action. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. Type MVN Spring Boot Run to start the embedded Apache Tomcat server. We'll watch the console logs to see the cron job execute. Remember it's scheduled to run every minute at the 0 and 30 second marks. There's the first execution. Let's wait a few seconds and see the next execution run on the schedule. The second execution of our scheduled cron process will run at 30 seconds after the minute. And there it is. Now Let's demonstrate the next type of scheduling configuration. I'm going to take a shortcut and paste a method into the code. 
The body of this method simply simulates a job processing time, forcing the job to take five seconds to execute. This scheduled annotation configures a fixed rate process with an optional initial delay after the application startup. This method will be invoked by the spring scheduler every 15 seconds. The first execution will occur 5 seconds after the application context is initialized. A new process will be started after the configured time has elapsed, even if the last invocation has not yet completed. Take care to ensure the job execution rate is greater than the job duration. Let's start the application again. This time we'll watch the fixed rate scheduled process. The first execution will occur five seconds after the application is initialized. Note the timestamp on the first log line. Now note the timestamp on the first log line of the second execution. Exactly 15 seconds from start to start. Remember, the characteristic of fixed rate schedules is that the time between executions is measured from the start of the previous job. The third type of scheduling configuration is called fixed delay. I'm going to create a third method, pasting in the same method body that simulates a 5 second execution delay. A fixed delay job is similar to a fixed rate job in that you may define an optional initial delay and the job is executed at, a f at fixed intervals. However, the fixed delay job waits for a configured amount of time after the end of the previous execution before starting the next execution. Using a fixed delay scheduled process ensures that at most one instance of the process will be running at any given time. Let's start the application to watch the fixed delay scheduled process. The first execution occurs five seconds after the application is initialized. Note the timestamp on the last log line. Now note the timestamp on the first log line of the second execution, exactly 15 seconds from the end of the first execution to the start of the next. The characteristic of fixed delay schedules is that the time between executions is measured from the end of the previous job. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com.